With a variable table, you cannot only do monitoring and modifying, but also forcing. In the initial commissioning phase, for example, this function enables you to set still missing input or output signals to a fixed value, such as permanently switching on a pump independent of the program logic operations. This, as opposed to modifying with variable tables, enables you to define signal or variable values independently of the program sequence. The resulting advantages are The program code does not need to be changed. No hardware jumpers in the wiring are necessary. The forced values are stored in a table and are therefore comprehensible. The forced values are marked in the program status with a symbol. In the project opened in the Sematic Manager, you select a predefined variable table and open it. You mark the parameters to be transferred to the force table. The menu command Display Force Values displays the force table valid for the CPU and the selected variables are immediately transferred to the table with their control values. After activation, the CPU permanently executes the force job and indicates this at the respective operand as a force symbol. The status bar contains an indicator for the activated force operation. But the CPU also indicates this operating mode via a force LED. To provide you with information of forced variables at any time, these are marked online with a symbol in the program status or in the variable tables. So it is clear which variable values are predefined independent of the user program so that misunderstandings can be effectively avoided.